It has been another warm and windy day today. We're still seeing those conditions this evening. This is a live look of your camera in Carbondale. It's still about 77 degrees even after sunset. Winds are still breezy out of the south close to 15 miles per hour with gusts still topping 20. As far as temperatures across the entire viewing area, we are all in the mid to upper 70s. We've got 78 in Poplar Bluff, 77 in Paducah, 75 in Mount Vernon and Harrisburg, Dixon Springs, 74. Now we are expecting some pretty big changes tonight. Our next storm system is going to be working its way in from the west. That will increase that chance for rain in the very early morning hours. That rain will really pick up through the morning and then eventually start to move out by the late afternoon and evening. Behind that front, of course, cooler air starts to settle in as we head into your Friday. I know a lot of folks may be worried about Halloween. We will time out all of those rain chances here in a second. This is a look at that system that's off to our west. All of the rain and the storms that's going to work its way eastward towards us tomorrow. So overnight tonight, if you need to get some last minute candy or a last minute costume, you don't have to worry about any active weather until the very early morning hours, about two, three o'clock. You can see some of those showers out ahead of the system start to pop up in the region, but that main line of storms will start to work Work its way in from the west around seven and eight o'clock in the morning. So this is that future cast at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. You can see widespread activity from about Jefferson County in southern Illinois all the way back through Butler County. So through Poplar Bluff, this entire line is going to continue to work its way eastward throughout the morning. So by about 11 o'clock, you've got those storms showing up in western Kentucky and back into northwest Tennessee. But even behind that, you still have have widespread rainfall falling across southern Illinois and southeastern Missouri. But if we take this out a little bit further, as we head into the evening hours, notice by five o'clock, you start to see some of that rain clearing out of southern Illinois and southeastern Missouri. Western Kentucky, unfortunately, we'll still see some of those light showers lingering as we head into the evening hours. But if you are in Southern Illinois, if you're in Southeastern Missouri, don't cancel your trick or treating plans just yet. Hold out. I think that rain is going to clear for many of us. If you're in Western Kentucky, just take that umbrella with you as you're heading door to door. Let's take this hour by hour tomorrow. It's a bit of a mess tomorrow morning for that morning commute. You may want to allow yourself just an extra couple of minutes as you head out the door. Of course, temperatures before that cooler air settles in aren't bad. We're still warm climbing up into the low 70s and then by trick or treat time we start to see the winds shift back out of the north and west and temperatures will drop. So even if that rain clears, you probably still want to have a jacket. We're talking a low 60s and upper 50s through those trick or treating hours. Storm Track 3 app, always great to have on your smartphone as well because you can keep an eye on that rain in the palm of your hand while you're trick or treating and you'll need it next week too because we are tracking a few more showers and rain chances as we head into the weekend and then especially as we head into next Tuesday next week. Now let's talk about those temperatures after that cold front comes through. We do cool down Friday and Saturday and I know a lot of folks are kind of ready for some of the cooler air to come in. Unfortunately, it is brief again and by next week we warm right back up into the mid 70s. The mid 70s, you know, for the highs, but even the lows are looking pretty decent too. So almost feels more summery overnight. It really does. Yeah. All right. Thanks, JC.